Hello and welcome back to Assorted Geekdom. We're going to go ahead and do some guild battles today. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. I think there were a couple of... Uh, yeah. So we're going to attack probably those two. Yeah, and the rest, a lot of these are droppers. And we'll attack that one. All right. Let's do this. All right. So this first one um, has uh, some sustainability through the Wolves of Shield. Um, so Maruna, which means they've got the double AoE stun there. Um, and then Diva, so they've got continuous damage. So if we bring immunity, we should be fine. Um, I kind of want to bring a bit more damage than what I've currently got here, though. Um, but I definitely want some immunity. Should I bring... No, then Maruna will focus him. Um, what to bring, what to bring. And we're going to go, we're going to try to avoid using Nat 5s. So we'll, we'll see if we can do that. Um, let's... I kind of want to bring um, Martina and maybe Diva. See, that's not controlling their where their attacks are going to go, though. Let me see. Let me see. they don't have any strip so we definitely want the immunity so where's that brand again brand come here brand there you are okay i would like some something with a strip that's why i'm thinking the martina let's go and do this let's go and do that it might work, it might not. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, the second one, um, let's go ahead and bring this and Skogel. Where is Skogel? All right. All right, so we're going to try to steal those buffs. Uh, who do we want to kill first? Let's, let's try to kill the Maruna first. Okay, so we stole the buffs. Let's see if we can steal the immunity buff just because. Okay, nice. So far, so good. This is working out quite well. Can we steal that? No, that's okay. Now maybe we can steal it this time. Not that the immunity is going to matter now. Alright, this worked out quite well. I was a bit worried that they would kill me faster than I could, uh, could get them, but that's okay. Alright, good showing, good showing. Alright, alright. We can stop that now. Head and get uh, the attack speed bonus. Ah, oh, shoot. He landed the heal block. That's not good. Um, let's go ahead and try to get the brand. Oh, nice. Actually, if we can get the kill on her. Oh. Uh, this could turn out badly. <laughs> um, we need them to be focusing on Rina. That's why I brought her. Um, 
but they landed that. Underestimating Kamun again. I need to kill her. Not that it'll matter because she'll be coming back to life, but I need to kill her. I really wish that brand had landed. Shoot, oh, shoot. That's okay. Jog. Alright. That didn't go so hot. I should have maybe bombed them a second team. Um, let's take the Rena up there and let's switch her out for Shana. Shana. Because Sheena has a nice effect where she increases the, where is it? Yeah, uh, Boomerang Warrior's accuracy will be increased by 25%. Uh, Martina doesn't have that high of accuracy, so that brings it up to 61%, which is pretty good. So that'll help us steal some buffs. Um, but do we need the Rena for sustained tanking. I don't think we do. We're going to bring the Vigor. I need to get some better runes in my Vigor, but he should serve his function just fine for now. Uh, and then here on the bottom, wish I had my wind people to attack with. So we're going to go... They don't have AoE. They don't have AoE. We can do... Let's do that. That should work. They will focus the arena, and we will kill them. We will kill them dead. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. We're faster. Can we get the steal? Please let us get the steal. Well, we got the stun. We did get a steal, which was fun, which was good. Okay. Okay. We get. said don't do that. Mm. And then there was one twin. Right. I need to kill her before she does that. Uh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. We should not be losing this. We should not be losing this. We should not be losing this. Alright, we should be able to win even with Viger against him. Uh, Viger should be tanky enough to, to handle this. And this is the win. Alright. We lost two, which is sad, but we did still win. Now this one I'm expecting to go a bit better. Especially if she can't land her bombs. Remember, I've got 92% resistance on my arena. So, pretty good, pretty good resistance on that arena. I was hoping to get a turn before the Wusa got a turn. Clearly, that did not happen. Alright, now, can Taurus get a turn and No bombs. We're sitting at 100% accuracy, over 100% accuracy right now, because we have an accuracy lead. We land no bombs. Mm. Isn't accuracy and resistance such a great mechanic in this game? It makes total sense, complete and utter sense, what happens with the, the accuracy and resistance in this game. So much sense. So much. So much sense. 
Okay. Alright, and then... So, let's see. We've got... What do we get? We got win... Or draw on a win? Okay. So, now we want to fight this one. Um, because I've already got plus six, so I need to hit a zero. What exactly does loot just actually do? Attacks performed on your turn will generate a shield that's equivalent to the damage dealt. Also increases your crit rate by 30% and damage proportionate to the shield granted on yourself. I wonder, I don't have him, so it doesn't matter, but I wonder if he scales with other shields as well. So if I was to play him with Bastet, would he get this damage proportionate to the shield? Curious. It does say granted on yourself. So it, it almost implies that it's only his own shield that he gets a bonus from. And it could be. Uh, continuous damage. And Wow. That's nice. Instantly gains another turn if the target. Wow. Now I kind of want a Lucas. Now I kind of want a Lucas. That's okay. All right. So this top one. The top one's going to be rough. Um, this bottom one. Let's go ahead and use a fire team against the bottom one. <coughs> we want immunity, but we also are a little weary of that Praha. So let's bring... Should we go Mono Light? Well, we don't really need a strip. And I think your runes kind of suck. They do kind of suck. Well, they're not plus 15 dire. Um, where's Fran? That's not Fran. Though we could use her. Mono white. Mono light. Fran, Fran, Fran. You disappeared, Fran. There we are. We could do that. She's built on vamp. Let's try it. Let's try it. I honestly it's it's fifty fifty. We're not controlling where their attack's gonna go, but that's because their main attack is AoE. Uh, we didn't get the immunity off before. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Heal up. We need some vamp. Okay. Alright, alright. We need, we need to heal. We got, we got multiple healers here. We need to actually kill her. I wanted to kill her because I wanted to get rid of her strip. Can we can we get the break? Uh, or not the break, the uh, strip? No, we cannot. Alright. Let's see if we can get some decent damage down on him. Hopefully we can prevent him from using his... But we should be fine. Okay, okay, okay. I hate the taunts. So many taunts. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. Have the violent prop to help sustain us a bit more. Ooh, can we kill her? Can we have the damage for it? Not quite. Not quite, but almost. high enough health to take the group out. And this will finish it off. Goodbye. Nice. Mono light team. All available to free players, actually. Because the, uh... Jerk. Um... That light, uh, Kung Fu girl was Hall of Heroes. 
So even though we used an, an LD4, it, that's a team that basically anybody could make. Alright, we really need to kill this guy before he gets too much further. Oi, oi, oi. This could be bad. <laughs> okay. So I really do want a Lucas. He seems pretty mean. He hurt he hurt a lot in that shield. He would be a fun toy. He would be a fun toy. Uh so definitely some miscalculations, but uh also some some good stuff there. I really liked that last uh mono light team. Um I actually use I don't even know what her name is, the light kung fu girl. Where is she? There. Lu Mei. Um, so I wish she had higher crit rate. Um, I mean, definitely. 55% is pathetic. Uh, but she is built vampire. So, uh, and I use her for my secondary rift raid team when I do normal raids, not BJ5. Um, and for those that don't know what BJ5 is, um, I'll just show you. Uh, make party private. Boom. All right. So BJ5 is using Bailger and Jansen. Uh, if you have three other people with, or two other people, sorry, two other people with basically this same team, uh, and the the leaders are Shiwa and um, the Fire High Elemental and a crit lead. So those are the, the default leads that people use. And so the concept here is for Bailger to do tons of damage using the stacks from people dying. Um, there's there's some really good guides out there. Uh, if you Google search the last ever BJR5 guide, uh, you'll find it. Um, but this is a, a consistent 27 second R5 team. So if you don't know, if you, if you, now, rune requirements are pretty low with the exception of Belger. Um, Belger needs, needs good, good runes. Um, that's just, just straight up, he needs, he needs good runes. Um, and 62% crit rate is actually the lowest crit rate that is acceptable on him. Um, I mean, some people argue 58 because the standard leads, but I would say 62 because some people use uh, Rika as the only crit rate lead, and she has a 38%, so that'll bring you up to 100%. Um, but yeah, this is a, a good team, and uh, it takes it takes some pretty good, some pretty high runes to, to pull this off. So if you don't, if you don't have the rune quality for it, you should. You probably ought to be farming more runes anyway. Anyway, that little tidbit had nothing to do with guild battles. I just thought I'd mention it. Um, how did I get off on that tangent? Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, Lume being on my secondary normal R5 team. Have a wonderful day.